Hello, old feral falcons. Welcome back. Good to see you all again. Uh, today uh, is a math lesson, very special math lesson. Uh, it's opening up one of the units. It's one of my favorite parts of the year. We are going to be talking about geometry. Uh, if you don't know what geometry is, it's the branch of math that deals with points, lines, surfaces, shapes, and angles. Okay, we're going to be diving pretty deep into geometry, and I like it. Uh, if you are a person who likes to draw, who likes to design things, likes to create things, uh, then geometry is going to come in pretty handy for you. Um, so I'm excited to share this with you guys. I should say that without geometry, we wouldn't have these well-built uh, and designed homes, um, cars, uh, and your precious video games. <laughs> so geometry, as you can tell, is pretty important to us and our world around us. Um, today we're going to be discussing perimeter. Perimeter, what is it? How is it used? And how can we use it to find missing information? Okay, um, before we go that over that in more detail, I want to go over some of the vocabulary that I'm going to be using um, today. So what we're going to do all uh, first, we're going to start off by taking some notes here. So I'm going to start off uh, setting up my note page here in Cornell notes style. Uh, again, our objective, how can we use our math principles, those those skills that we already have to find the perimeter of an object? Okay, um, like I said, I'm going to go over some of the basic um, vocabulary that we're going to be using today. And I'm going to start off with the, the most basic of basic geometrical sh uh, principles and shapes, and that is the point. Okay, you've heard this word before when we say things like decimal point. Okay, it's exactly that. A point. Bloop. Basically a dot. Uh, it's a particular spot, place, or position on a surface or object. Next is the word line or line segment. A line. Okay. Okay. And a line segment. Again, you guys probably use the word line many, many, many times in your life, but it's a long, narrow mark between two points. So in this line that I've drawn here, it's between this point and this point. Okay. A long narrow mark between two points okay lines are measured in length we just talked about length there's again two types of systems for this there's the standard uh, US or customary system where we measure length of lines in inches, in feet, in yards, and for very, very long uh, lines, miles, okay? In the metric system, we've got millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers, okay? So we we'll are measure lines in length. So finally, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the continuous line around the outside boundary of a closed shape. Okay, around a closed shape. That's very important. In other words, uh, this is a square and there's no opening between the inside and the outside. This is a closed shape. Okay, this is not a closed shape. Okay, if we zoom in here. You can see that there is in fact an opening here okay so we're not talking about these shapes we're talking about these closed shapes okay we're talking about uh, squares uh, rectangles and other closed objects like triangles and things okay 
Okay, so we're actually going to start with squares, and let's talk about some of the features of a square. First of all, there's four points, okay, points that we mentioned before. One, two, three, four, okay, it's got four lines, okay, all the lines are the same length, okay, so this line is this, this line segment is the same length as this one, is the same one as this one, is the same one as this one, and also a square has four right angles or 90 degree angles, okay, remember that's like I said, the uh, excuse me, capital L letter, it's like that elbow shape, okay? This is a 90 degree angle, it's this corner shape right here, and we mark a 90 degree angle by just putting that little square there, okay? Um, so, with that being said, a perimeter is the measurement of the length around the outside of a closed object. So we've got our closed object, this square here, and we're going to basically count around the outside. Now we've got these little, in this graph paper, we've got these little units. I'm going to call it the units. So the length of this line from this point to this point here is three units. Okay. From this point to this point, also three. One, two, three. From this point to this point, another three units, okay? And from this point to this point, another three units, okay? And now it's just a matter of uh, addition. Three plus three plus three plus three, okay? In a square, you can even use multiplication. Three, how many times? Four times, so three times four equals 12 units. 12 units. So, if we want to use this in a mathematical se uh, sentence, we could say uh, this square has a perimeter of 12 units. Oops. I'm trying to write too fast here. Okay, 12 units, three plus three plus three plus three. Okay, and that's it. Let's do another example. Okay, so I've got another square here. Um, each length here is two and one half inches. Inches, mind the units. Okay, you want to see those in your final answer. So two and a half inches here. Because it's a square, we know that squares have line segments, four line segments that are all the same length. So that means if I know that one side of a square is two and a half inches, I now know that all four sides are going to have the same length. Two and one half inches, two and one half inches. Okay, so if I want to find the perimeter, it's a matter of connecting the dots, okay? Start at the first point. You go from here to here is two and one half inches. From here to here, another two and a half inches. From here to here, another two and a half inches. And from here to here, back to the starting point, two and a half inches. Okay, so... We did all four, two and a half, plus two and a half, plus two and a half, plus two and a half. Uh, let me add up the whole numbers first. Two, four, six, eight. One half plus one half is another one, that's nine. One half plus one half is another one, that's 10. So we can say this square has a perimeter of 10 inches. Okay, it's almost like if I took scissors and I cut right here and I stretch these lines into one long straight line, okay, we're just adding them all together to get a total of the amount of distance all the way around this object, back to the starting point. Yes, Mr. Cheeks. But Mr. Hopkins, 
Does this only work with squares? Great question, Mr. Cheeks. And the answer is no, it doesn't just work with squares. Uh, it works with any closed figures. Okay, so let's go over some more examples. Let's try a rect. Okay, so here we have a rectangle. Uh, the dimensions of this rectangle, let's see, from this point to this point is 10 centimeters. From this point to this point is 3 centimeters. Okay, now there's a couple things that you should know about uh, what a rectangle is. A rectangle uh, has two lines that are opposite of each other that are the same length. So from this point to this point is the same as this point to this point. So we know that since this one is 10 centimeters, this one is also going to be, you guessed it, 10 centimeters, okay? And from here to here is three centimeters. So that means all the way across in a rectangle, this side is three centimeters, okay? And the reason it's like that is because, uh, again, there's four equal parts, or sorry, Opposite sides are the same for right angles. Okay, these angles, these L-shaped angles, okay, allow us to figure out that the opposite sides are the same. So now, how do we find that perimeter? Perimeter. Take a moment, give it a try. Okay, if you added... 10 plus 3 plus 10 plus 3 and you got 26 you would be correct perimeter equals 26 centimeters don't forget those units folks Okay, here's another closed shape, closed figure that you're probably familiar with. Uh, this one, in this case, has one, two, three points, or three angles, triangle, a triangle, okay? Um, but perimeter works the same on these. All you have to do is start with the first point and go right around, connect the, the dots, 7.5, plus 10, 10.0 even, plus 7. I like to put in those decimal points, even if it's 0, just to hold the place there. And I'm going to add this all together. So 0. 0.5, 7 plus 7 is 14, 24.5 centimeters. So again, if we were writing this out as a, as a sentence, we would say this triangle has a perimeter of 24.5 centimeters. Here, let's say this is 12, 12, uh, 12 um, let's call them centimeters. Okay, this is going to be seven centimeters, okay? And now, just having some basic ge uh, geometry information, we know about rectangles, how one side of a rectangle is the same as the opposite side. So right now, we can find out this mysterious information, even if it's not there. So if I ask you to find the perimeter of this, you could say, oh, I know that's a rectangle. It's got four equal or sorry four right angles okay one side is opposite of the other side so even though it's missing here i'm going to write it in so 12 centimeters over here do 12 centimeters over here okay what's this mystery side let's see since the opposite side it's a rectangle since the opposite side is at seven centimeters we know that this side is also seven centimeters and now count them up 12 plus 7 plus 12 plus seven. Thirty eight centimeters. Okay, so this rectangle has a perimeter of thirty eight centimeters.
So let's go back to the square. Here we've got a square. Uh, let's pretend um, this one side of the square is seven yards. Okay. Well, what do we know about squares? We know that in a square, all four lengths of all four sides are equal. Okay. So you could sit there and write seven, 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 seven. You could say seven plus seven plus seven plus seven. Or if you've been practicing your multiplication skills, you could say seven times four. Seven times four the four, one, two, three, four sides, and we've got an answer of 28 yards. So the perimeter of this square is 28 yards. We're going to work backwards. This time we have the perimeter, and instead of multiplying, we're going to do the perimeter and divide it by four. Okay, 100 divided by four. 100 divided by 4. Correct! 25 millimeters. Okay, so that means this is 25, this is 25, this is 25, this is 25. And because I aspire to be an A-plus student, I'm always going to check my work. Let's see, 25, 25, 25, 25. If I add that up, if I use addition, 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 for all four of those sides, 5, 10, 15, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 100 millimeters. Okay, so the missing side is 25 millimeters. All right, so going back to our objective, uh, again, our essential question was, how can we use our math principles to find the perimeter of an object? You guys have been working with length, different units of length, both the customary and the metric system. Okay, so again, it's a matter of taking the length of every single line in a closed object and adding them together. Okay, uh, and again, if you can do those shortcuts with um, rectangles and squares by using multiplication, uh, things like that, you can find out some missing information, okay, based on what you know in those mathematical principles. So, um, again, this is just one uh, bit of the larger um, division of math um, called geometry. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this helps as we move forward. Okay, we're going to be uh, diving into this a lot deeper. So I'm really excited about that. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, without geometry, life is pointless. <laughs>